Hello again and welcome to Five Sonomads. As I'm just preparing my lectures for the Sonopass Summit, which will take place in California in July, I was thinking about giving you a very short lecture today. And what would be better than a simple twist, tilt, and slide session? So I decided to talk on an easy way to find the proper right past on five chamber view because many people have difficulties get it really in an optimal way. So Usually, as you all know, we always start with the brick. We start with the right parsonal four chamber view. And this, as you can see, is a case of, an, of a hemodynamically significant mitral valve disease with a degenerated mitral valve and some volume overload of the left ventricle and some enlargement of the left atrium. So how to get to the five chamber view? As you can see on the left uh, video, this is the usual position that you might use um, to get this brick. So imagine the head of the animal is on the left side, the tail is on the right side, and the legs are pointing towards you. Then usually uh, the axis of the transducer is oriented like the axis of the heart, and the tail of the transducer points somehow towards the elbow of the animal. So if you simply twist the transducer now, so if you simply twist it without any other tilting or sliding, you will end up like this. You get you, your left outflow tract, but you lose your mitral valve. Yeah? You get kind of a three chamber view or something, yeah? however you want to, uh, to call it. So there is your right atrium, your right ventricle. Here is a left ventricle and your left outflow tract, but you're losing your mitral valve, which is not very good because you want to see it as well. So how can you avoid this? You can avoid it if you first tilt the brick. That means you get the apex of the heart closer to the transducer. How can, you, can, how can this be accomplished? It can be accomplished if you simply slide towards the sternum with your transducer. So, oh, that's wrong, sorry. So you slide towards the sternum and you point towards the spine. As you do this, you get a tilted view of the brick. So look at this. Now the brick is tilted on the right side. So, and if you then twist your transducer, what happens is you open up the outflow tract without losing the mitral valve. So there's still the mitral valve down here. The left atrium is here. And you get a very nice and clean left outflow tract at the same time. OK, so this is a perfect five chamber view. OK, once again, if we go back to the brick, your transducer looks like this. Then you slide towards the spine in order to tilt the brick in order to bring the apex of the heart closer to the transducer and then you twist the probe yeah. what happens is you tilt the brick first now it's tilted the apex is closer to the transducer than the base and then you twist the transducer and by doing this you open up the left ventricular outflow tract and you get your outflow tract and you, your aortic valve right in the middle of the screen. And this helps you for your Jumbun LAAO, uh, LAAO measurement. And it helps you to get a very good view of the heart base. So if you start from this five chamber view now and you twist your transducer further, you twist it until you get a short axis view. Then you end up with a very nice heart base view with the aortic valve right in the middle of the screen. Yeah. So as you twist your transducer, try to keep that aortic valve in the middle of the screen. And by doing this, you end up with a very, very nice LAAO short axis view. Okay. So this is for today. Just a little tip. Maybe you can use it. I hope so. And I would love to see you in California in summer. Have a nice day and continue improving with every scan you are doing. Bye-bye from Austria. Bye-bye.